Hi everyone, well thanks again for joining me on another house therapy staging DIY video. Well, if you're following me on Instagram, which is house therapy underscore staging co, this week I'm sharing with you amazing pictures from hotels of their lobbies, of their outdoor spaces. And if you've been paying attention to my posts, you've noticed that in all these pictures, I have this kind of obsession with these twine spheres or globes that are hanging from the ceilings. So today, I am going to show you how to make one of those twine spheres or globes um, at, at the fraction of the price. Now you guys, I looked up online for these lanterns and see how much they cost. And I found anything from $70 to up to $700. Um, and that's crazy. And today I'm gonna show you at a fraction of the price that you can make it on your own. It's actually very few steps, but I do wanna warn you, you do get very messy and I'll show you how to avoid that as much as possible but really I'm just gonna warn you you do get uh, into some glue and it's gonna get all over you and hopefully not all over the place if you do it correctly and follow these steps um, but it's totally worth it like I said it's a fraction of the price and it's gonna look so great in your outdoor space and it looks so chic and wonderful and we're gonna add a light to it so it could actually also be a light source for you so let's get started so here are the supplies that you will need. I got the roll of jute. Jute is actually very similar to hemp and twine, but it's made out of vegetable. I got the roll for $9.99 from Michaels, and I got a lighting swag kit from Cost Plus World Market. That was $9.99. I know that you see a jug of Elmer's glue, but you're not gonna need that large of size. I only got it because my daughter is obsessed with making slime, so I got that big jug. So really you only need about two large bottles for about $5.99 each. I got the ball from Walmart, that was $2.99. Two, you'll need two large bowls and a couple of garbage bags. And last but not least, a light bulb. First step, you're going to tie your hair back, grab two garbage bags, because you're going to make it into a poncho, so you're going to need two armholes and cut the middle so your head can get through. Grab the other garbage bag and you're going to line the table with it. So before I start wrapping the twine around the big ball that I got for my sphere, um, I'm going to show you actually on a smaller ball. Sorry, this ball is super dirty. It's the only one that my kids have, but I want to show you on a smaller ball what I'll be doing and how I'll be wrapping it around because it's going to be kind of hard to show you with the larger ball. You'll see in a second. So just make sure that when you're wrapping your string around the ball that it's going completely under. Now it can get pretty slippery when you have the glue solution on it. Just make sure that you are wrapping it un all the way around. And then when you wrap it and when it comes around, make sure you try to make an X and cross over the one that you just made and make sure you roll over under again and then make another X because the solution's going to help keep it together. But doing in this kind of crisscross formation will really give you a nice pattern and make the sphere in its shape a little bit more secure step is putting the glue solution together, which is one part glue to one part water. I added 12 ounces of the glue. And then I added about 10 ounces of water and I mixed it with a plastic spoon. And you just want to make sure that the consistency is like a semi-thick milk. Now that you have your glue solution put together, you're going to grab your jute roll and you're going to dip it into the solution. Make sure that it's nicely soaked in so it takes in all the solution and you're going to grab that one piece of string and then you're going to start wrapping it around the ball. For the size of the ball that I chose, the whole roll of jute was used. At the very last part of the string, I tied it around another piece of string. Now that the twine is wrapped all around the ball, it takes about 24 hours for the globe to dry. As soon as you're done, make sure to take off that poncho and wash your arms from all that glue before it dries up. So it's been 24 hours and how did it turn out? 
so great. Um, this is a good point to start checking around your sphere, making sure that there aren't any weak spots. Like I found a couple of places where some of the strings are totally intact, but they're just a little bit loose, like this area right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some hot glue gun on it so it can just stay in place. Um, and another tip that I found that when you are starting the process you may have found in some blogs you may have read that they want you to draw a circle so that you can put your swag through it but what i found was it's so difficult to keep track of where that circle is as you're rolling around the twine around the ball with glue flying everywhere and it's all over you don't do that go ahead just twine your ball all around when you're done with the last part of your string go ahead and find a spot and while it's wet and soft go ahead and make a spot and just move it around that's what I did here I just moved the strings around while it was wet and it just made the shape and it dried in the shape so don't worry about drawing a circle and trying to maintain around that circle because it's not realistic this is so much better you just go with the twining and then figure out the circle later and here we are so the next step is is to deflate the ball you can go ahead and have fun and puncture your ball what I did was I grabbed a drill bit and I found the hole of where the air would normally be and I just took the drill bit and I just stuck it into the hole and it goes and then it starts to release the air like so now this may be too slow of a process, so you can kind of just move it around or maybe even puncture a larger hole and then it should deflate. Then once it's deflated, just pull out the old ball. So I just punctured it with a good puncture and all the air is coming out. And now it's getting smaller and smaller. There you go. We're just gonna let this go and then we're gonna pull out the deflated ball. There you go all deflated. I'm going to carefully start pulling out the deflated ball from the hole where I made. Voila! So the next step is to install the light into the twine sphere. So I have my wire swag that I got from Cost Plus World Market. They sell kits for $9.99. And the hole is actually a little bit larger than the actual bulb, um, where you would put the bulb. Uh, so I got a plate cover that you would normally use for um, light switches. And I'm going to just push this down in the, uh, the light bulb fixture into this light switch plate. I just put it right there. See that? Um, because I'm going to go ahead and insert it into the hole. And the reason why I like the rectangular shape, it just, it secures it and makes sure that it does stay in place. Nice. So the next part, could be a tricky part, is grabbing the light bulb. Here we go. You can use any light bulb, anything that will fit into the socket of the swag itself. I'm picking a brighter one because it's going to go outside, but you can pick an Edison bulb, so a little bit mood lighting, but I want it to be um, a little bit bright for the outdoors. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to screw the light bulb in inside. I know it looks a little awkward, but I think I can go ahead and do this. Righty tighty. Right, right, right. I'm gonna go ahead with only one hand and screw in a light bulb. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, nice and tight. Perfect. Now, I can go ahead. There we go. So there you have it. We made a twine sphere, great for the outdoors. Your backyard's gonna look super chic and modern and really at the fraction of the price. If you like this video, make sure to like it below, share it with a friend, 
subscribe to our YouTube channel. You're not going to want to miss out on next week's DIY. And as always, share beauty, share inspiration. See you next time. Bye.